with another big hardcore 500 on the way in Acapulco on the road to Indian Wells in Miami, the Sunshine Double, which is coming up in a couple weeks. We have some big names playing in this event and coming back for the first time in a while. We also have some withdrawals, so let's go to the list of withdrawals first. So a couple of players are pulled out. Dimitrov, he's pulled out. Jera has also pulled out. And McDonald, also not playing in this one. So it's a bit of a shame. Dimitrov's been in good form over the last few months. Not to see him there, but we do still have some big names that are playing. All right, having a look at the top of the draw here, we've got eight seeds in this one, and nobody gets a buy in the first round. Alexander Zverev, number one seed. He'll take on Altmaier in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Kichminovich or Schwartzman in the second round. Then we've got Borges taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Draper or well, the number seven seed, Tommy Paul. And they have played a few times already this year. And the matches have been very, very fun. So watch out for that one. Then we've got the number three seed, Dimino taking on Daniel. Winner of that will take on either Escobedo or Ovna in the second round. Then we've got Felix Ogilvy's team taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Safulin or the number five seed, City Pass in the second round. So some really interesting potential second rounds. Of course, players to watch out for. You've got to watch out for Zverev and City Pass. Both sort of bit of a letdown last week and lost. Carbos as the top two seeds didn't make it to the final so they'll be looking to rebound same with Dimonor bit disappointing last week but did make the Rotterdam final Tommy Paul of course has made back-to-back -back finals in his last two events so gotta watch out for him and Ogelia Seam unseeded always gonna be dangerous if he can get into some form especially if he plays City Pass in the second round that'll be really fun so top half of the draw really dangerous players there and the seeds are gonna have to do some work bottom half of the draw now we've got the number six seed Rude taking on Eubanks winner of that will take on either Mendez or Lajevic in the second round then we've got Evans taking on Shell and winner of that will take on our either Arnaldi or the number four seed Fritz in the second round. Then we've got the eight seed Tiafo taking on Purcell. Winner of that will take on either Nori or Kopfer in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier taking on Thompson. Winner of that match will take on either another qualifier or the number two seed Runa in the second round. And of course, Runa is coming back with Patrick Moratoglu. So let's see how that impacts his play. But again, some really interesting matches. First, second round, potentially, if we get the winners to play each other. But you've got to watch out for Runa. Of course, with Moratoglu back in the camp, let's see how he can rebound after a bit of a disappointing start to the year. Casper Rude has made it the final Los Carbos, and by the time this is out, you probably know if he's won or not. So definitely got to keep an eye on him. Taylor Fritz also winning in Delray Beach. You've got to keep an eye out for him as well. And Jordan Thompson just beat Zverev this week in Los Carbos, so definitely a player that could be really dangerous for Runa in that second round. So not an easy draw for the top seeds, but, but it could be really, really fun to see some of these second round quarterfinal clashes as this tournament progresses. There it is. There's the Acapulco draw, and again, just kind of like what we have in Dubai, the top seeds have got some tough work to do. It's a really dangerous opponent. It's not only in the first round, but second round as well and beyond. This tournament's going to be worth 500 points, so it's got a lot on the line, especially for those players playing for those top 10 spots. Guys like Dimonor, Fritz, Rude, uh, even City Pass, who's still trying to get back into that top 10. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you have winning this one? It's so open. Of course, Dimonor is the defending champion. He kind of snuck through the draw last year and got the win with uh, beating guys like Runa and, and Paul on the way. Maybe it's going to be Zverev kind of rebounding from last week. Maybe it's going to be somebody else. Let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one, but Acapulco, bit of a stacked draw for this one.